football. It's a simple game. Simply score more goals than the opposition to win. That's right, goals, goals, lovely, lovely goals. As comforting as being in the pouch of a mother kangaroo or other pouch-bearing marsupial, probably a wombat or something. And as exciting as the first time you win an intimidating cucumber at a village fair. But let's not dwell on old memories of the countryside. We're here for goals, goals like this. Ronaldo has the ball, not literally of course, the ball is owned by the governing bodies who distribute them to the stadiums and teams prior to matches. The referee brings the match ball onto the pitch at the start, so really the referee owns the ball. Goal! Ronaldo was stationary and no one came near him, they just stood frozen in fear like the cowards they are. That's just not good defensive football. Lionel Messi, what a player and what a man. He once saved a child from being bought by Manchester City by using his position in the United Nations as the president of Barcelona to put diplomatic pressure on the English side. Unfortunately, he was unable to save little Samir Nasri from a similar fate. Messi would have been president of Argentina, though they say he hasn't the credentials to be that important on the international stage. Here he is, dribbling, dribbling. I've never seen this much dribble since I surprised a Doberman at the butcher's shop and wham! Put a fork in this game, it's done! Here we are in London and Arsenal. They're a great team, especially with Jenkinson at left back. No idea who he is either, but hello! Presumably the son of a farmer. Jenkinson has curled that in like the proboscis of a butterfly. That's its tongue, sports fans. A butterfly's tongue into a flower. Speaking of which, check this out from Gorgonzola Higuain. You don't get a cheese named after you for nothing, you know, apart from cheddar. My friend Barry Cheddar had nothing to do with the cheese. They named it after him for no reason at all. Yeah, bumps and call me daddy-o because that was a goal to remember. Unless you're Alan Shearer, who has no recollection of any of his 260 Premier League goals at all. Next, we have this monster from Exabi? Exab... Alonso. That can't be a real name. Oh, it is. Right, well, anyway, let's take another look at that absolute stonker of a goal. Stonked! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes! What was that? My word, if that had gone in the net, well, I think we all know what would have happened. It would have gone in the net. Here they are, this great team from somewhere in Europe, probably, passing around nicely. It's like watching velvet being passed over the back of a Babylonian temptress's arm. Sumptuous stuff. Oh, my giddy on, it's gone in the net! What a finish from a fine player and a truly wonderful man. I've spoken to him on many occasions. He'll give a speech at my funeral. Well, the pressure's on. This team has been coiled like an angry cobra, ready to strike at any time. And strike they do! The cobra's attacked. It had its sort of neck flap spread as a warning to the metaphorical wildlife television presenter, who's then embarrassingly bitten around the chest and the face, or in this case, a ball in the net. Well, we've seen some truly wonderful football. Goals have flown in and we've had quite the jolly time watching them. But remember, there's more to life than goals. There's build-up play, using your teammates, sharing in the glory, throwing the controller out the window because your friend's always offside, or because someone quit an online game when you were 3-0 up with 20 minutes to go. It's just a game, why did you quit? What did you have to do just right then that's so important? Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. I just love goals. <laughs>